guys, it's Lindsay Michaela here, Go Hunt, back for week three. Uh, just to recap what we talked about last week, we dove into draw odds, gave you a detailed view of what that entails, and this week we're going to dive into Filtering 2.0. Yeah, so Filtering 2.0 is my personal favorite um, out of all of our insider tools. Uh, I just like that, like, since I'm new to all of the states other than Utah, it gives me a really good rundown of, like, what every unit and season looks like, um, and it's almost like when you get into unit profiles, you're talking to someone who's like from the unit. It's like you're talking to your dad's buddy that's like, yeah, I hunted mm -hmm. here a couple years ago. Here's what it's like. It gives you, you know, the buzz on the unit, um, what the terrain looks like, the vegetation, access points, public land percentage. So it breaks all that down. And then it also has all the data that we've kind of talked about before with like the harvest success, tag allocation, uh, male to female ratio, trophy potential. So it's just a good spark notes, if you will, on like the different units and the seasons within those units. So Lindsay is going to give you guys a demo today and she'll kind of walk you through how we like to use it and how we'll be using it to find our own hunts this year. Okay guys, so first you should want to go to gohunt.com and find our insider tab where all our tools are located and click on filtering 2.0. From there, it'll pull up our map with all our states that we cover as well as list the states on the right hand side so i'm just going to go ahead and go into utah here from there you're just going to want to select a species so let's just go into general deer and then it'll pull up on the map each individual unit that that species is located on and as well as on the right hand side here you'll see that we have all our filters so you can filter by trophy potential, and then if you have your point tracker set up, your points will automatically be uploaded into here. You can select draw odds range, season type, public land percentage, as well as harvest success. So you can filter that all out here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do draw odds range, select rifle, and let's do greater than 38% harvest success. From there, you're just going to want to select the unit you're interested in and click on it. And it'll take you to our unit profile. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see all the data that is entered into our filtering 2.0 system in a graphical format. So you have applications versus tag allocation, harvest success. And right here, you'll see our draw odds. And that is for this most current year. So if you click on see draw trends, it'll take you to the detailed draw odds page that we showed you last week. And if you jump on here next week, we'll give you a rundown of how to read the unit profile and all that's incorporated in with that. All right, guys. So Lindsay just finished her filtering 2.0 demo. Um, keep an eye out for us next week. We'll be back again, and hopefully we can answer some more of your guys' questions. See you next week.